February 11th. Is your hope in God faint and dying? Thou wilt keep him in perfect peace, whose imagination is stayed on thee. Isaiah 26, 3. Is your imagination stayed on God, or is it starved? The starvation of the imagination is one of the most fruitful sources of exhaustion and sapping in a worker's life. If you have never used your imagination to put yourself before God, begin to do it now. There's no use waiting for God to come. You must put your imagination away from the face of idols and look unto Him and be saved. Imagination is the greatest gift God has given us, and it ought to be devoted entirely to Him. If you have been bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ, it will be one of the greatest assets to faith when the time of trial comes, because your faith and the Spirit of God will work together. Learn to associate ideas worthy of God with all that happens in nature, the sunrises and the sunsets, the sun and the stars, the changing seasons, and your imagination will never be at the mercy of your impulses, but always it will be at the service of God. We have sinned with our fathers and have forgotten. Then put a stiletto in the place where you have gone to sleep. God is not talking to me just now, but he ought to be. Remember whose you are and whom you serve. Provoke yourself by recollection, and your affection for God will increase tenfold. Your imagination will not be starved any longer, but will be quick and enthusiastic, and your hope will be inexpressibly bright.